Mahi Mahi are uh, just a great fish. They have everything. You know, most fish, uh, you know, are beautiful or, or whatever, but Mahi Mahis are gorgeous colors. They jump, they're delicious on the table, and put up a, just a tremendous fight. They're really the fish uh, that satisfies everything. Down here in the Bahamas, you know, in the springtime, we see some gigantic mahi mahis that are just usually um, anywhere from, you know, 15 to 50 pounds, even uh, big bull dolphin and cow dolphin. Um, you know, they they have several names. People call them dolphin fish, dorado, mahi mahi uh, is kind of the Hawaiian name for them, um, and they are just a great fish that really. Uh, lives out in the blue water and just, you know, when you come upon them, it's just everybody gets excited. I've never seen a fish come out of the water more vibrant. We had some this week that, I, honestly, they look like they're electric. It looks like there's, you know, some sort of power source that's blowing the colors up. You'll never see red or yellows and greens and blues like you see on those fish. They're extraordinary. Right there, he's still in the teaser. I'm trying to get it out. He just spun around, he's wheeled on you. There he is, he's on you. Yeah, he's on you. Chasing Mahi Mahi is cool. It's a different technique. You know, I'm accustomed to lightweight gear, walking flats with a fly rod in my hand, trout stream in a drift boat. Chasing Mahi Mahi is a big deal. I've got these extraordinary sport fishing boats like Austin's boat with mates that are super pros, Dane, Cap, Sheep. Those guys are exceptionally professional. They know exactly what they're doing, but man, the gear it required to chase these fish it blow your mind. But when you get all of that run out and they've got the whole kind of choreography of the spread and the caps up there watching fish and, and the guys are on the deck going 10 different directions to make sure everything works. When the fish hit, 
it's it's honestly if you're kind of a neophyte like me like I, I haven't fished a lot of big water sport fishing boats like that to watch it is pretty impressive I think that's probably one of the more impressive things I've seen all week is is how these guys roll you know mahis are just a great table fare you know you see restaurants all over the the world really they're in the Pacific the Atlantic that serve mahi mahi it's just easy to cook uh, really a moist, tender fish that has great flavor. And we had last night, we had fish tacos and, uh, you know, we've done it all kinds of different ways. And it almost all, it's really hard to mess up a mahi-mahi when you're cooking it. Um, they really have so much moisture and oil in them. They're just really delicious to eat. And uh, one of the best fish really out here as far as table goes. You know what draws me to the blue and the blue water is just the diversity of life out here. You know, there's so many opportunities in the salt water to catch fish and you could be up in the shallow flats, you can be in the deep water or in the tidal areas or, or kind of in between. And there's so many species of life out here and you hook something, there's no fences out here. You never know what you're gonna catch. You think you're reeling in something and next thing you know, you're surprised and you caught a, a different fish that you didn't know existed or whatnot. But uh, what's always attracted me to the blue water is the mystery of, of the fish that are out here. It's different than, you know, when I grew up in Kentucky fishing farm ponds and uh, the trout streams in the mountains and things like that. It's, uh, it's just, it's so foreign and beautiful water and just the color, uh, the smell of the ocean. It's just really special to me.